Welcome in this lesson. We're going to get started modeling the book. Uh, we're going to be using a polygon here, which I'm going to pop out here in a second. And we're going to subdivide this before we start modeling. And for the width, we're going to put in 4. Height, we're going to put in 2. And the depth, we're going to put in 6. Okay? And I'll scale this up. Instead of scaling it up uniformly in the center, as we've been doing, I'm going to grab this manipulator uh, right between the Z and X coordinates. And this is going to scale up on just those axes right there. And I'm going to round off the numbers. I'm going to put 6 here and 9 for Z. Okay, and then hit W on the keyboard and just pull that above the grid. Okay, so I've got a two panel layout. I did that by coming under here and selecting layouts, two panels side by side. And on this side I have my perspective view here. And over here I have orthographic front view. Okay. So we're going to start by selecting the faces on the inside. I'm going to drag a marquee down the center. I'm not going to go all the way through. I'm just going to stop before I get to the, the last edge there. Selecting both rows of faces and then holding down the shift key and dragging a marquee over the whole thing. So that reverses the selection and essentially we've got the outside of the book cover selected. And we're going to extrude that. And for the thickness, we're going to put in 0.2. Then I'm going to select this face here on the edge, hold down the shift key, move one over and double click, and that's going to send a loop around the, the faces that we just extruded. And we're going to extrude that again with a thickness of 0.3. So this has essentially made our cover. The inside is going to be our pages. And we're going to shape the back of the book now. I'm getting a few to be out of order. Dragging this over. Okay. So we're going to be working down the back of the book right here. This is the binding. And I'm going to start off by dropping in a couple of edge loops. I have the shortcut for the insert edge loop tool out on my shelf. The way I did that was coming under mesh tools, holding down control shift on the keyboard and clicking edge loop. Okay. And you can do that with any of these to place them out there. So I'm going to activate that, drop in an edge loop. And you'll notice that it's not coming in straight. It's sort of uh, compensating between uh, this edge here and the one we extruded. And we're going to want to straighten that out. We're going to hit Q and then R on the keyboard. And I'm dragging the X coordinate to the center so that straightens out that edge. Okay, and then I'm going to drop another one in right next to it. And one here on the other side. Flatten that out. Okay, and then I double clicked on the center one and I'm going to just scale it down at the Y coordinate. So that's created the, the binding where the book pages are held together. And I'm going to shape the back end of the book now. Drag a marquee, selecting the entire row of vertices along the back edge, and W on the keyboard, and moving that out on the X coordinate. So that's rounding out the back of the book. Okay, and I'm going to drop in another edge loop right here. Do the same thing, I'm going to straighten that out, and, and we're going to round off the edges right here by grabbing these vertices. Holding the shift key and scaling these down. Okay, and I'm going to grab all of these and just pull them back a little bit. Okay, flatten that out. Okay, so we need a couple more edge loops just to create the roundness in the back as well as the pages here. So instead of using two edge loops, we're going to place them uh, symmetrically by using the offset edge loop insert right here. So I'm going to select the edge down the center, click and hold the left mouse button, and if I drag left to right, I can control the placement of that. I'll drop it in right there, Q to get out of that, and I'll come to the back 
here and where the marquee or the shift key is like another marquee. So we're selecting all the way down the side. So we have the vertices, W on the keyboard, and we're just gonna push that out slightly to round out the back of the book. Okay. And for the pages, we're gonna round these out as well. Again, I'm selecting the entire row. And we're going to come to faces now and drag the marquee all the way down. Inside here, which is essentially our pages, and we're going to separate those now. Okay, so check on the selection. Put in their edit mesh. Strike faces. Okay. And if I come over here and click on the layout for the outliner, Perspective view. We can hit the key on the keyboard to get out of that. And you can see the P cube one has changed now. It's now got two shells inside of it. It's got the polysurface one and two. I can double click on this one and highlight the cover. And the other one is going to be the pages. And the P cube one group level is going to be book underscore. I'm going to separate these out onto their own display layer, so I'm selecting the pages first. I'm under Channel Box Layer Editor Display, and I'm selecting the last one down here. This icon is going to create a new layer and assign the selected object. Double click on that, and we have Layer Pages. Selecting the cover now, doing the same thing. Double clicking on that. And the layer editor it does not like spaces. It will take uh, an underscore in place of a space. Ever. So if we hit three on our keyboard here, we'll see that it's kind of a little soft. We want to create a harder edge on here. So I'm going to go back to the one on the keyboard. We're going to put some tension lines in along the corners. And just click and drag these into place. One down here on the bottom part of the cover. Those right there. Okay. And the key to get out of that. We hit three on the keyboard. That now holds the form. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here to the layers and I'm gonna click on this twice until it says R on here. So I'm no longer able to select that. I'm just going to work with the pages now. And we're going to create kind of an aged look to this. So I want to randomize the look of the pages. There's a number of different ways we can do this. We can insert edge loops. Uh, we can do it through textures. I think uh, the approach I'm going to take here is by inserting some random edge loops. Put some a little closer, space them out. Yeah. Cue to get out of that. And we're going to select the vertices, drag a marquee over all of them. Come under Edit Mesh, Transform. And I'm going to pull out the local translate in Z. To about point 0.1. Okay, and then for random, I'm going to click on this and middle mouse button and drag to the right. That's going to increase it so you can see it kind of randomizing the effect there. And I think uh, I don't want to go overboard, so I think 0.5 looks good. Okay. So it creates kind of a, a random look here for pages that are sort of worn. Okay. All right, so we've got this transform one down here. I'm going to just click and drag all the way down here and we're going to clean up our history. Delete the entire history. Okay, we have uh, one last thing to do here. We're going to insert some edge loops along the corner of the pages here. If we hit three on the keyboard, we can see we've got that same issue of it going soft. So 
the one on the keyboard, uh, I'll select the insert editor tool, click and drag, click the edges on either side of the corner here, same thing down here, the key to get out of that, click the object mode, and the three on the keyboard, I should see that it's holding the form now. And with that complete, we are done with the modeling portion, and we're going to come back in the next lesson and start UV layouts.